Hello and welcome to another cloth weaver tutorial. This time we will learn about UV unwrapping. See normally when you unwrap something it's like this. It's just all over the place. How do we get it to look like that? That's what we're going to cover today. Here I have a skirt with many different layers. Here's how it's constructed. They all fall down together. So, first off, let's see what kind of, uh, how this is set up, how it looks at the moment. So here's my pattern. I've got this image texture for the color. I've got one for a translucent map and then another one for like a bump map for the lace. Okay. Right now I've got it unwrapped in a straight line. So you can see I can alter how this is mapped by dragging it around. By default, however, if I were to unwrap this, look at the UV maps. They're the default is a uh, it's a big circle. It's not what we want. We want these to be straight lines. How do we do that? So, let's begin. In the Cloth Weaver panel here, we can go to Edit Mode. Okay. And let's go to the UV panel. Okay. We have mark seam, clear seam. So I have my seams marked in the back here. And that will tell Blender to section off the different layers here. So it's not going to be all one object. It's going to be separated. So to do that, I'm going to shift alt click. Uh, I need to go to my edge mode. So if you see my cursor down here, we go to edge select, edge select, shift alt, and then we can select an edge. And from there, we can hit mark seam and it'll turn red. But I've already done that, so I don't need to do it again. Okay. Now on the UV panel, it says process for straightening UVs. Number one, UV unwrap your model. Okay, A to select everything, unwrap. Okay, number two, switch to UV mode. Okay, and here's UV mode. It will, autom it will automatically open this panel for you. And we need to go to the Cloth Weaver panel on our tab right here. Right here, here it is. Whoop, okay. And it says, how do I make that bigger? I know there's a way to do it. Okay, you hit sh you hit control and then you scroll with your mouse wheel and you can make it bigger. Well, that's good for the tutorial. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we have a return to edit mode button, so you can go back to edit mode anytime you want. Let's make this bigger for the tutorial. I'm curious, does that make it big for everything? Yes, it does. Nice. Okay. Switch to UV mode. Process for straightening UVs. Number three, define a square for a template. What does that mean? We need to select one of these faces as a template. Select two parallel vertices along the x-axis and align. Select two parallel vertices along the y-axis and align. Okay, so right now I'm in face mode, and I want to go to UV mode. Okay. I'm going to select these two, hit align X, select these two, align X. And you can see that it straightens it out. Align Y. So now I have a perfect rectangle. And I'm going to go to face mode, 
and here I've got this one selected. I want I want our rectangle selected, the perfect rectangle. This is our template. So Blender is going to reference this and say, okay, stretch all of the other vertices, make them a perfect rectangle, and it's going to straighten it out and get rid of this circle pattern that we have. So we have this selected. Select a face square for a template. Okay, we did it. And press I. Press I. Okay. I has been pressed. But I don't see any changes. Return to edit mode and use button 5. Okay, return to edit mode. And use button 5. Unwrap active quads. Straighten quads. Ooh. There it is. Straightened it out on this one layer. Let's see if I can isolate that so you can see it better. Okay, so you can see that that has been straightened out. Okay, and then you can repeat the process as well. So if I go back to UV Edit, you can see, nice, there it is. Cool. It's been straightened out. That's nice. Now I want to split view because I want to make some adjustments here. I'm just going to move this for the sake of our tutorial. Okay. Actually, you know what I could have done is just select inverse. Okay, select invert and then H to hide. Okay, there we go. So now I can see this. Select it all. And now I can move it around. But what I want to do is scale it up for the sake of this pattern. Because I want a lot of that pattern. Okay. Does that look good? Does that match? Okay, that's about good. Now I want to scale it on the Y. Okay. Scale it more, more, more. Hang on. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Is that what we want? Is that what we want? No, we need it to extend out further. There we go. All right, and that's how you do that. That's how you straighten out the vertices. Yeah, I recommend unwrapping your model when it's in the 2D template format, you know, when it's flattened out like this. I wouldn't necessarily unwrap it when it's, um, you know, in its 3D form. So you can see the bottom uh, pleat or the area of this skirt. What would you call this section? I don't know. Layer, tier, um, that one's been unwrapped. Okay, so you still do the, have to do the rest of them. Even for realism, just unwrapping your templates when they're in the... 2D form factor. So that's how you UV unwrap with Cloth Weaver and Blender.